What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanna talk about a tip that you can use while creating array copies inside of SketchUp. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure to check out my best SketchUp tips guide at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've talked a bunch of different times about the ability to create arrays in SketchUp. So arrays is basically the ability to create multiple different copies of an object using the move tool or the rotate tool. So uh, I will link to a video about this in the notes below, but basically that's when you activate the move tool and you click on an object and then you tap the control key to create a copy and then you type in something like times 5 or times 10 and hit the enter key and you can adjust the number of copies that you create so if I was to type times 4 this would come back and create four copies of this object and so this also works creating copies between different points so if I was to make a copy here and then type in divided by five and hit the enter key. This would create five equally spaced copies um, starting here and ending here. So you'd have your original and then your five copies. So we've talked about that before, but there's actually a function of this that I actually didn't know was here. Maybe a bunch of you did know was here, but um, the, the way that it works is let's say for example, that I created seven copies of this object just like this. So just space between here and here. You can see how if I wanted these to be spaced at five feet, um, it's kind of difficult to do because I didn't set this spacing originally. Or that's what I thought because I've already created my seven copies in here. But if you come in here and you type a distance after you create your copies, so let's say I type in 60 inches, all of your copies that you create are actually going to get spaced at 60 inches. So you can see how this took all my seven copies that I had created and spaced them so that the origin of each one of these objects was spaced on 60 inches. And you can adjust this multiple times as long as you don't click off of your object. So let's say I decided I wanted this to be 48 or 36. I can type that value in and hit the enter key. Um, and then the other thing is since this is still live, I can also still adjust the number of copies. So you can see how I had seven copies, well I typed in times six. So let's say that I had come in here and I had created 10 copies at 72 inches. Well really what I need is I need six copies at 60 inches. So what I would do is I would type in a value of 60 in order to reset my spacing to 60 and then I would type in time six and hit the enter key and you can see how that would remove those extra copies. So both the number of copies and the spacing that you create is actually adjustable using the arrays just by typing in different values. And I will note that it's really important that you don't click off of this because as soon as you click off of this or you go back and select another tool, now if I type in a value like 60 or 72, nothing works anymore. So you do have to do that while this is all initially live. But that was a function I didn't know was in here. And so the next thing I tested is if this also worked on the, the rotate tools array function. So, and it does. So if I was to create, whoops. If I was to type in times five to create five copies in here, I can actually also type in a value. And in this case, the value is gonna to correspond to the angle rather than the number or the distance between these objects. So you can see how I can type in different angles. So let's say for example that I wanted to have um, six objects total. So I would type in times five. That would give me the five copies. And then let's say I wanted 30 degrees between each one of those. You can see how that would give me 180 degrees between this object and this object. Or if I decided that I wanted this to be 360 degrees, or I would type in an angle of 60 degrees. And so you can see how when I type in an angle of 60 degrees, this comes in here and this sets the angle of each object um, based on this center point to 60 degrees. And I can still adjust the number of copies as well. So I could type in like a times 12, and then I could set my angle to 30 degrees, and that would allow me to add 12 copies at 30 degrees from the center point. So you can see how this really makes adjusting the number of copies and things like that in SketchUp using the array function really easy. 
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. I'm super interested to know if you guys knew about this, if it was just new to me, or if it's new to you guys too. So leave a comment below let me know what you thought. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.